Hello, this is a quick and easy way to create an iPhoto scrapbook. So, first thing I want to do is make sure that I have all of the pictures for my scrapbook saved in one location. And I know that they're in my folder, and the country I'm visiting is Denmark. So I entitled the folder Denmark, and I put all of my pictures in here. About 62 pictures for my country. Then what I'm going to do is find iPhoto in the dock, and I'm going to click on it. It's going to open up iPhoto. I'm going to go up to File, New Album, and they will give you the option of Album, Smart Album, Slideshow, Book, Card, or Calendar. We know that we're making a book, so click Book, and then title your book the name of the country you're visiting. So my book is going to be called Denmark. You can pick all these different types of books. There's line borders, snapshots, all these really cool formats. The one that I really like is travel because I figure, hey, we're traveling. So, Denmark for my name, I pick travel for my book type, choose. It's going to ask you if you want to add the photos now or if you want to add them later. If I add them now, it's going to import all the existing photos that I have from my iPhoto. So, all of my map pictures or my Hawaii pictures will all be imported. So, I'm going to say add later. And it's going to take me to my Denmark book. So as I'm looking at it, I have Denmark, I can edit. These gray frames are for inserting pictures. If you look at the bottom, there's all these really cool things that I can play with. I can do themes, which is what I picked before for my book type. Background, you can change what your background looks like. Do you want it to be this kind of background? The layout, you can change your cover layout so it looks different. This is kind of stuff that you just play around with until you find something that you really like. So I like this one. I'm going to keep this. Add pages. You probably will not need to add pages because iPhoto gives you about 20 pages in your book to begin with. Right now, if you look at this little picture in the left upper hand corner that my mouse is circling around, this is your picture mode, okay? So it wants to show you all the pictures that are in your book. But, right now, we don't have any pictures in our book. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go to File, Import to Library, and I'm going to navigate to my folder. And it's already, let me show you how I did that. So, I went to Desktop, I went to my folder, into Denmark where I keep all my pictures, and I'm going to click the first one, scroll down to the bottom, hold down the Shift key, and click the last one. By doing that it selects all of the pictures that are in the folder. And I actually want to deselect this one because it's a movie file. So those are all my pictures and now I'm going to import them. So now they're importing into iPhoto. All of these are the pictures that I want to have in my book. I researched ahead of time, found all of them, thought they were perfect for my trip day one through day seven. Now I want to take all of these photos. I'm going to click right here. I'm going to drag. Okay? So now all of my photos, as you can see, are selected. They have a little yellow line around all of them. So now that they're all selected, what I want to do is I want to drag. So what I'm going to do as they're selected is I'm going to click on one of the pictures and drag them into where it says Denmark. So I clicked, I held, and you'll know when you do this properly because you'll see the little green plus sign appear over where it says Denmark. You're going to release and go to Denmark. And now the picture bar that was completely void of pictures before now has all of the pictures that we want to use to make our book. So they're all there. So let's see, I want, what do I want on my front page? I want the flag of Denmark. And I would also like this picture of Copenhagen. Because I think it's a pretty cool picture. Now, don't be alarmed. You're going to see these little yellow triangles with exclamation marks in them. This is going to tell you, let's see if it pops up. Okay, so what it says is this photo may print at too low of a quality. So iPhoto is not just a virtual thing. You can actually buy your books or have your books printed out by Apple and have them shipped to you. So what they're telling you with this little 
yellow triangle is that you know maybe you want to pick a picture with better pixel quality but we're not really worried about that because we're not printing our books we're just making them into animated movies so my front page is done all I did let me show you again I'll get rid of these all I did was I searched up here found the picture I liked I clicked it once and then I clicked and dragged and I put it into the box that I wanted it in and then I click this one got the little yellow bars around it so I know that it's highlighted click and drag and inserted it right there now what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna play with the layout of all your slides so let's go at the layout so here's your layout iPhoto takes liberty to create your layouts for you and you do not have to use the layouts that they have for you what you can do is let's go to page two okay so maybe for page two you don't want two pictures maybe for page two you want something that has a caption so you're gonna click this one so now you can type up here this is day one of my trip and if you go down to the bottom over here where the little scale is you can actually zoom in to see your writing. So this is day one of my trip. If I zoom out, you can see both pages. All right. Now, once again, the gray boxes mean that you can insert pictures there. So what do I want to have on day one of my trip? Well, on day one, I'm probably going to be flying. So let me put my picture of Scandinavian air in the background. And I also have a picture of the Copenhagen airport. So I'm going to put that right there. Once again, you're going to see the little yellow triangles, but don't worry about that. So you're going to type whatever you want in your text box. You're going to insert your pictures. Now, once again, if you do not like that they are offering, however, what is this? This is, it looks like 25 different pictures that you can put in there. If you want to put in 25 different pictures, by all means, go ahead. But if you want something a little different, maybe you only want seven pictures then play with the layout until you find something that you like. Slowly you will go through, you will add all of your pictures, it will be exactly how you want it to, you can flip through using these arrows, go by day by day, or you can go back up to the browser. And you can toggle between pages and pictures. Now, well, I know that our book is not complete, but I'm just trying to give you the quick version of this. So once you have everything inserted, you've imported all of your text, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the play button. And the play button, if you can see my mouse circling around, it's down here in the bottom left corner. And it says play slideshow. I know you don't want to play a slideshow, but bear with me. Click the button and it will load just give it a little while alright now these are your settings your transitions your design layout and it's in your rubric as transition and music so if you want to work on your transition and music this is where you're gonna go so let's see there's different transitions you can do droplets where your pages change this is very similar to uh, transitions that you would have seen in a PowerPoint we're going to do page flip because that really makes it look like it's a book. You can increase or decrease the speed and you can also decide how long you want each page to play. Um, for our sake I'm just going to leave it at three seconds and I'm going to take off the repeat slideshow because we are making it into a video so we don't need to repeat it. And then I'm going to go to music. On my computer I have all kinds of music saved up you will have to probably use music that is already in the iTunes library so you're not gonna have a very vast array of music now if you have a jump drive and you want to bring in music that you have purchased by all means you can do that but you need to make sure that the music is school appropriate if you are unsure if your song that you want to put in your presentation is school appropriate then come and talk to me and I will listen to the song and we'll figure it out okay so let's see, I'm going to scroll through. These are songs that I've purchased. Let me, I want to put in... Hmm, 
Katy Perry. Okay, so I'm going to click play, and it's going to start playing Katy Perry. And you saw it started playing the music and it started flipping through the pages. Now, it would be really cool if my pages were complete and had everything done, but they're not yet. Yours will be when you get to this stage. So, I hope this helps, and if you have any more questions, come and talk to me, and I will come look at your computer. Alright, bye guys.